Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. Since many of you requested it, we're going to cover some Ink Master cast members and reveal how they're doing now. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content guys. Tommy Helm Making his debut in the very first season of the show, Tommy Helm became an undoubted Ink Master fan favorite. Regardless of the fact that Helm missed the chance to make 100 grand by slim margins, he still went on to become pretty successful. Rather than forever remain as the runner-up, Helm decided to move on to another tattoo-centric show. Better yet, he even returned for the second season of Ink Master to announce something that really shocked fans. He expressed that he was going to be hosting a show called Tattoo Nightmares, which would focus on covering up bad tattoos. On top of this, Helm even offered to fix one of the human canvases' piss-poor pin-up tattoo, which he had received earlier that season. The show only really ran for three seasons before being discontinued since it had pretty mixed reviews. Since so many people loved this contestant, he returned in the ninth season to compete alongside his shop mate Martin Silva. Unfortunately, Helm wasn't able to go as far as his previous run and ended up ranking in 6th place. Currently speaking, he seems to be focusing more on growing as an individual artist and posts rather frequently about his work on Instagram. Having amassed close to 300,000 followers over the years, it's not much of a surprise with the amazing stuff he's accomplishing. Not only do thousands of people appreciate his work, but he also opened up a shop of his own called Empire State Studio, which has fantastic reviews. We definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the market for a tattoo. Ryan Ashley Look, it's no secret that the world of tattooing is a male-dominated industry, but you'd be a fool to think that there aren't any jaw-dropping female artists. Right up until the 8th season, the only female contestants that made it higher into the ranks were Sarah Miller in the 2nd season and Tattoo Baby in the 3rd. However, none of them managed to take the winning title until a talented woman named Ryan Ashley came along. Debuting in the 8th season of Ink Master, Ashley formed a girls' alliance with contestants Nikki Simpson and Gia Rose. Thanks to this and her undeniable talent, she was crowned as the Ink Master champion, becoming the 8th official winner. What's more, she was also the very first female contestant to triumph, which was such an amazing thing to witness. Although this was certainly not the end of Ashley's tattooing journey, but rather only the beginning. Aside from appearing in the original Ink Master, she returned as a host for Ink Master Angels and Ink Master Grudge Match. Additionally, she managed to win as a coach on the 12th season of Ink Master Battle of the Sexes. Not only was she known for being the very first female contestant to win, she became a two-time winner which is absolutely amazing. Ashley has also appeared on the cover of Ink Magazine several times, but we can't blame them since she's really stunning. For one of the issues, she announced her relationship with a fellow tattoo artist named Arlo Di Cristina. Soon after, she announced that she would be bearing his child and claimed that they're the first family of tattooing. Much like the other contestants, she's amassed quite a following on Instagram, gaining over 1.5 million since her appearance on the show. She mostly posts about her family life and the amazing tattoos she's done for people that look incredibly realistic. No one deserves this kind of success more than she does, and we're so happy to see her thrive. James Vaughn Another fan favorite that appeared in the first season of the show was a contestant named James Vaughn. Best known for his southern speech, witty comments, and jovial attitude, it was always a pleasure to watch Vaughn on screen. While he did finish right behind Tommy Helm in third place, he's still widely considered as an amazing artist. Thankfully, fans got the chance to see this fantastic contestant once again in an episode called Mary Inc. He competed against other known artists like Tattoo Baby, Sausage, and Jimmy Litwalk on who can design the best holiday-themed tattoo. Additionally, he returned for the seventh season, ranking a spot lower than his first run in fourth place. Vaughn was also invited to be a coach on the 12th season alongside Ryan Ashley, but he was ultimately eliminated. After reappearing several times on the show, he went on to run two tattoo shops called Straight A Tattoo and Emerald City Tattoo and Piercing, which are both really successful. While he never got the chance to show off an Ink Master win, he can certainly brag about the fact that he's one of the state's most awarded tattooists. In very recent times, Vaughn became the new artist manager of the American Tattoo Society's shop in Fayetteville, North Carolina. If it wasn't already obvious, Vaughn is a pretty popular contestant, but he probably won't be returning on the show anytime soon. Besides, his career as a tattoo artist seems to be keeping him busy. So if you want to catch up with how he's doing, go check him out on Instagram. Even though he's not as active as the other contestants, his posts are worth waiting for since his work looks amazing. He's certainly doing something right since he's amassed over 115,000 followers over the years. It's great to see that this contestant is doing well. Scott Marshall Contestant Scott Marshall could only be described as an artist with exceptional talent and an insane level of creativity. Fusing his technical skills with beautiful imagery, he was able to wow viewers with his amazing work. Fighting his way to the top in the fourth season, Marshall was able to pull through despite being the underdog. Everyone expected Sausage to win, who is one of the most admired contestants of the series, making his triumph even more impressive. 
Taking home over 100 grand thanks to the results of the finale, he also garnered a ton of public attention. While many artists dream of getting into the mainstream eye, it's not always easy to handle things when you finally do. Oftentimes, the constant judgement from others can be overwhelming and can increase your chances of getting a mental illness. Now, it's not exactly clear why this happened, but something very tragic occurred involving Marshall. Back in October of 2015, he was found dead at the Holiday Inn Express in Illinois, only being 41 years old. Shocking everyone, no one would have expected this promising tattoo artist to pass so early on into his life. He was even starting to make bank at his job as a tattoo artist at Roselle Tattoo Co, but not many people knew that he was struggling with addiction. After a toxicology report was revealed, it became clear that Marshall passed from a drug overdose. Not only did he have way too much heroin in his system, but he mixed it with some benzodiazepines which proved to be fatal. Even though the manner of death was listed as an accident, we're sure that the pressure of being famous didn't help with his addiction. What's even crazier is that this only happened a year after being named the fourth official winner. Sadly, Marshall wasn't the only contestant to have died so quickly after starring on the show, with Clint Cummings being another example. While he did live to see another 4 years, he ended up succumbing to his cancer in 2016, which is extremely sad. Our wishes go out to the families affected. Sausage It's only natural after talking about Scott Marshall that we discuss the person he beat who's known as Sausage. Returning several times throughout the season, Sausage has gone on to become a contestant to remember. Despite the fact that he became the 4th runner-up of Ink Master, you'd be wrong to think that this was the end of his tattooing journey. As mentioned, he came back 3 seasons later to compete in Ink Master Revenge, but ultimately finished in 7th place. He did get a little redemption arc in his epic battle against his rival Matty Hickson during the live season 7 finale. Even though they wouldn't be fighting for prize money, they simply fought for their pride as artists. The winner would need to get a tattoo from his rival, and Sausage was the one who ended up prevailing. This hilariously means that Hickson will need to walk around with a tattoo from his rival for the rest of his life. That must have really hurt his pride. Additionally, he was brought back for the Mary Ink episode and appeared as a coach in the 12th season. Behind the scenes, Sausage seems to have been making Ink Master alliances, namely with Season 3 winner Joey Hamilton. Both came together as business partners and have four shops spread over Las Vegas and the Lake Tahoe and Salt Lake regions. One of the more successful tattoo shops he owns called Revolt Tattoos has over 209 reviews on Yelp. Rocking a fantastic 5 stars, many seem to praise the consistently beautiful artwork and the great staff. We're glad that he's succeeding. Well, that'll sadly be all for today's video here on the channel. I really do hope you enjoyed this new series we started. And if you're wondering what we mean by love, that means dropping a humongous like down below and commenting your thoughts. Let us know about your favorite tattooist that was featured in this video or on Ink Master in general, and we're going to be sure to maybe cover them in a future video. Before you head out, I highly recommend that you check out our other videos that we have on some of your favorite reality shows. Of course, we can't end the video without telling you to subscribe to our channel and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I really do hope you have a great day, and see you guys in the next one!